to check properly, it's always good if you tell the patient to stand against the wall, actually. So, like something like that, against the wall, like this. Yeah. So what we are checking, we are checking for trapezius wasting and winging of scapula. So any inspection or even in palpation will be putting the patient in this position. So you can check the inspection. Yeah, come, come, come here. Then after inspection, we have got the palpation. First is your feel, temperature you need to feel. Temperature is simply like, uh, you can compare the temperature of the shoulder, maybe both together or maybe one by one like this as well. If there is any local rise of temperature or not. Now the palpation. So if I, come here facing towards them. Yeah, so if I start with this joint, which is this joint? Huh? Sternoclavicular. So just feel for it. Clavicle. And here the joint will be able to feel it. Acromioclavicular. And on the humerus also you can feel. And if I have to check the back, again I will tell the patient to stand against the wall. And what I can check? I can check the the spine and the borders of the scapula as well, right? Just again for any kind of tenderness. Yeah, you can come here. So look, feel, and then move. Move is very important here. So movement again, shoulder joint can do a lot of things in terms of movement. So what is flexion and extension? What is flexion? Flexion is shoulder reardon. So tell the patient, maybe if you're doing both hands together, you can do. So go like this and go as as far as you can go. Okay. Now, as far as you can. So that's your flexion and extension. So flexion and extension. Now what you do? Abduction and adduction. How you do it? Go as far as you can go. And as far as you can go. Right? Now you do internal external rotation as well. External rotation, internal rotation. Yeah. So these are your normal shoulder movements, right? So what we did, as far as you can go, as far as you can go. It's an exercise. As far as you can, you can do it daily as well in the morning. It's gonna be helpful, isn't it? All right. So that's the shoulder movement. Here they can actually give you a scenario on uh, which one? Frozen. frozen shoulder. What happened in frozen shoulder? Patient will have restricted movements. For example, now this is your affected shoulder and this is normal shoulder. Now I want you to show them the positive finding, right? So this is my affected one. This is normal. So if you're doing flexion, this is what's going to happen. If I'm going further, it's painful. And even if I try passive movement, he won't let me go. And he will show pain on his face. He won't smile, he'll show pain. Because in frozen shoulder, active movements are affected, whereas passive movements are also affected. Problem is in the capsule. After maybe this point, he won't let you. Even if you try, he won't let you because it's painful. So what happened? This is what happened, right? And if you do abduction, abduction, it will go. Right? And it actually affects external rotation as well. Internal rotation may not be affected, but external rotation definitely going to be affected. Right? So when you tell the patient to move the arm, he's going to move like this, and I think you'll be able to get your positive findings. Right? Very easy test. Right? So restriction of the movement, I was showing this is my affected joint. Right, we've got a couple of tests as well, to be honest, if you leave them, it's okay, but still, let's see. It's very easy test, empty can. Hold a can, just like that. Bring it in from, drop it. I'm going to press it, don't let me do that. Pain. Okay. So that's an empty can, if there's pain, uh, it shows actually a uh, problem with the impingement of supraspinatus. Empty can, bring forward, drop it down, and just try pressing on it, see if it is painful or not. We have got another test as well, painful arc, painful arc. Uh, what happened uh, in that? So you need to put it on like this. Usually painful arc, we see a patient might be in pain at an angle of 60.
120 degree if it is painful arc. So what we can do, we have lifted the leg, I mean not leg, arm of the patient. Now we tell the patient if we can bring it down slowly, slowly. So sometimes what happens, patient will start having pain here at 120 degree. Patient is in pain, 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 pain till here. And then again. So patient is having pain where? 60 to 120 degree. That is again for impingement of supraspinatus. So that can be done. Painful arc. So the arc is painful where? From 60 to 120 degree. Not the overall. So if I'm here till this point, it's fine. 